When I went to my new school, a friend of mine was also going to that school and I showed up at her house the night before and I was like, I want to enter this new space and I want nobody to have any doubt that I am a gay man. And so I had her pierce my right ear <laughs> and shave the sides of my head and I entered that school just freak flag flying. My name is Noah Galvin and I play George in Booksmart. I grew up in uh, a, a, a fairly liberal sphere uh, in Westchester, New York, like 45 minutes north of New York City. I started working as an actor when I was 10 years old and I went on tour with Les Mis, the musical. And I think that was the first time I had really experienced older queer people who were living their lives, just surrounded by musical theater and gay people basically, and lived very authentically and discovered and a lot about myself. But I was still really young and wasn't ready to, you know, do anything about any of that. And then I came back to Westchester and came back to public school where there was a strong focus on sports and not so much on the arts. I felt that I had to sort of like suppress these things that I had been experiencing and these things that I had been sharing with the world. I then had to sort of like close up and live life a little bit under the radar for a few years. I was bullied, not, you know, nothing like crazy or physical, but definitely experienced some bullying. And I had been working throughout all of that. And so whenever I had a job, it was my opportunity to just spread my wings and live as authentically as possible. And then I would go back to Westchester and I would have to hide again. And so then when I moved to the city when I was like 15, I went to a performing arts school, just surrounded by art and surrounded by, you know, it was a real, it was a beautiful little bubble where everybody was allowed to just be themselves. And so that's when I like really got to flourish and I really got to figure out who I was. Um, but it took like coming to a safe space like that in order for me to do that. I think having friends that you don't uh, worry about sharing things with, I think that's a telltale sign of somebody who's you know, in it for the long haul and somebody who's down to be there for the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, it's very important to find those friendships. Keep talking. It's always important to have a dialogue. It's always important to have difficult conversations and to talk out your feelings as much as possible. Um, never isolate. Take your time. Don't feel like you ever have to rush uh, into being a person you're not ready to be or living a life you're not ready for. Hi, I'm Noah Galvin, and I'm here to tell you it gets better. I know.